Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about Kendall's Tau in relation to Spearman's Row. I'm going to describe the differences between the two in terms of the formulae, and I'm also going to go through two examples to highlight the uh, similarities and differences between the two. Uh, there can be important differences, uh, which is the main uh, reason I wrote this or put this presentation together. Here are the formulae for Kendall's Tau and Spearman's Row. I've done a previous video on Kendall's Tau going step by step into the calculation, so I'm going to presume that you either know that already, or if you've, um, you already know how to do a Kendall's Tau, or you've seen the video already. So basically the formula for Kendall's Tau is the number of concordant pairs minus discordant pairs divided by the total number of pairs. All right, but Spearman's row is different. Spearman's row is the sum of deviations squared divided by uh, n times n squared minus 1. Now, I don't totally expect you to understand the differences shouting out at you at this case, but it'll come out uh, very clearly in a, set, in a minute. Let's look at one example. Now here, I'll guide your attention to this section of the table on the left side. The hypothetical example is the same one I used in Kendall's Tau, where a master art evaluator rank ordered uh, a series of data, or rather a series of uh, art uh, exhibits, and the best one is ranked 1, and the worst one is ranked 12, and everything else in the middle. Now a student uh, was uh, studying to be an art evaluator also, uh, rated and ranked uh, the uh, art exhibits and we can see that there's some congruence between them so the first art exhibit was ranked number one by the master and it was ranked number two for the uh, student now the corresponding art exhibit uh, that was ranked number two for the master was ranked number one by the student and overall you can see there's a lot of correspondence and congruence between the two and so you calculate the concordant pairs and the discordant pairs again I explained that in another video but in um, Spearman's uh, correlation coefficient whoops I actually went uh, forward there uh, it's simply the sum of the deviation squared multiplied by 6. And because the deviation, the difference between the first art exhibit 1 and 2 is simply 1. That's the absolute differences. Uh, and if you go across all art exhibits, it's always 1. Because there's only one deviation between all of them. But concordant pairs is, is different than calculating uh, th just the difference between uh, the rank orders. But Spearman's row isn't. It's calculating the difference between the rank orders. And it's squared. And that's an important feature here. The, and so if there's only a really small difference between them, if you square values of 1, you only get 1s. And so when you look at a pattern of data that are none of which are exactly the same, n n the master and student did not rank any exhibit exactly the same in terms of their rank ordering. They're all s different by 1. What do you get when you use Kendall's Tau versus Spearman's rank, order, rank ordered correlation? Well, the, Spearman, the Kendall's Tau comes out to be 0.818 in this case. The difference between concordant pairs and, and discordant pairs divided by the total number of concordant pairs is a pretty large positive association of 0.818. Now, Spearman's row or Spearman's rank order correlation is a really big correlation of 0.958. And that's because these deviations squared really didn't amount to very much. Because it was simply one deviation for all 12 art exhibits. And when you square those ones, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, and so because it's 1 minus the ratio of these two numbers, you get a really big whopping correlation. So Spearman's row is larger than Kendall's tau, and that's usually the case. In most cases, in applied cases, you will find a larger row than tau. Now here's another example that I think is interesting. The master rated and uh, rated the uh, and rank ordered the art exhibits, and now we have a second student. So these are, are rank ordered, 1 to 12. But this student ranked the number 1 rank ordered art exhibit as a 12. Total opposite from 1 to 12, and the 12, 12th ranked um, art exhibit by the master was actually uh, viewed and interpreted as the best piece of art by the student. But everything else is exactly the same. They agreed perfectly on all art 
all other art exhibits. So when you calculate the concordant pairs in this case, you get